Hi guys! Today I'm going to create a second card with Lisa Horton stamp set. So this time I'm going to use blue. So it's going to be tumbled glass and salty ocean with the distress oxides. I am not uh, an expert on it, but hopefully I'm going to be able to create something really, really cool. Shall we start? So today I'm going to use those little dots. I've already have a blue card and I've pre cut the panel for it. So I'm going to use those little ones. I've already tried them before, those little stamps. And I have tried them on my scrap piece of paper when I try all of my new stamps. And they look really cool. Uh, if they are put together. So this is the effect I'm going to have today. But it's going to be double color. So the color that I'm going to start with is going to be the tumble glass. So let's see if I can make it. So I start from here. Not bad. I'm not an expert on the ink pads, on the oxides. I have not used them before too often, so don't get me wrong, but I'm not an expert. I hope they're going to blend in properly. Now let me turn around. Okay. And now I need a few flowers here and flowers there. So I have not been using this oxides. I don't even know if they work. Um, this way. On my previous card, I've already used yellow and green. And I think I have two other cards where I use them. So this is my process of learning how to use oxides. Lots of people say they are really cool. And... Uh, they say it's really nice to use them. They blend easily for now. They have been quite good. I'm going to divide the cut in half. So around here, I'm going to stop stamping with blue and I'm going to swap the blue. I'm twisting around the pattern for the flowers because I found it useful sometimes and they do fit. There you go. Okay, yeah, and what I'm going to do, um, let me see, this way, oh, I'm going to stamp this way, this way, and this way here, okay, and that's it. Now I'm going to change for Salty Ocean, which is a little bit darker, and I'm going to continue the pattern from that side. Uh, I'm not going to clean the stamp because the tumble glass was lighter, and I think I'm going to stamp over here. The tumble glass is much lighter, so even if I use the stamp on a darker one, it's not going to have any effect. All I'm going to do is just stamp off the excess. Okay, let's see how this works now. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Turn it around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just mix and match some of the patterns. There you go. This is a beautiful blue, guys. It's really gorgeous. Very, very beautiful blue. I don't regret buying this blue. And I do have other ink pads, distress ink pads, but I don't have the, the same names. So when I was buying the oxides, I I decided to buy a different names of the of the inks. So I don't have exactly the same ones from the distress and from the oxides. Whoa, this looks awesome. This looks really great. This way. This way. Over here. 
and over here do I need any oh there's one little one I've got some space here hmm super now take off the excess here you go and I've got my little tool to clean up the stamp is stamper from hero arts I've purchased this long time ago, but it's very good. It works only with water and it cleans stamps nicely. So tidy up and put it all back the other way. Now I like to see how my card looks like. So if I put it this way, what do you think guys? It's beautiful. You can't see too much. Now, and I'm going to use this pocket. I've got two spare pieces and I'm going to stamp with my Versa black ink two pockets. I'm going to cut them out so it doesn't matter it does not matter uh, that they're going to be next to each other I'm going to cut them out anyway one and another one here you go now, before I cut them out, I want to use sentiments. So I'm going to use one sentiment, which is just for you. And then have a fantastic day. And I'm going to use those two blues. So where's my just for you? Over here. Okay, so this one is going to go this way. And this one is going to go all the way to the bottom of my page. Bottom of the page is dark blue. Okay, so we're going to do just for you dark blue. Oh, wait. This is my first time using this stamp. So I need to try if it's going to fit. Come on. That's it. There you go. You better. Not the best, but better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now the next one is going to be... You are blooming marvelous. I wonder if it's going to fit. Hmm. I'll have to do it this way. Because this one is going to go all the way to the top. Nope. Too big for me. Have a fantastic day. I cannot, you can always use whatever you want. Oh, this one is better. See? So one is going to go all the way to the bottom. That's why I'm doing this way. And this one is going to be all the way this way. So it needs to be upside down. I need to remember that before I stamp. Hmm. It's too light. I want darker. Yeah. This blue is going to be better because it's much darker. Ready? and stamp hmm. I don't think those stamps are really happy with the oxides but we are still going to cut them out and I'm going to do it okay sorry guys I had to do I had to do it offline because I'm not really good in cutting. So this one goes over here and this one will go all the way over here. I'm going to use my 3D foam. It's the foam that I love. It's really good, very easy to use, practical. I don't have any problems and it's my own, so I do it myself. It's really, really lovely and it's a big roll. It comes with, with three big rolls. Okay, so this goes here. 
Yep. Really nice. So now what you do is just take the pin and oh, whoops, don't peel this one off. Don't stick it yet, guys. I forgot. Hmm, I almost did it. So I am going to stick the spanner first. I am more wonky. I forgot completely. I'm so distracted today. Um, you need to put the panel first before I put 3D because if I have a 3D, my perspective is changed and I don't uh, don't see the things the same way. Because I don't use any glue, special glue, I know how to position it without um, without any special tools. If you're not good at it, don't do it. Uh, with a double-sided sticky tape, but because I've been practicing so much and I got used to, to it I've got good eye. However, if I put 3d or anything on the top I'm going to be in a pickle Okay, I know this way is the opening and I'll position Where's my little lines? Position ready steady go Perfect and now I can put my lovely decorations. One and the other one. Mm -hmm. Have a fantastic day and just for you. And there you go. All I'm missing is just a few sparkles. I think. Yes, there was some enamel dots, I remember. So I'm going to use the medium sized dots, my pokey tool, and I'm going to put one here and one all the way over here. And I'm going to have two over here, but I would like a two medium, three actually. Two is not enough. I don't know why, but everybody makes three. So, yeah. Okay. If you want to make it equal and even, just put one on one side, the other on the other side. And the last one would be in the middle, so you know where is the middle. There you go. And my card is finished. So, this is the second card with Lisa Horton stamp set. Uh, so we've used a couple of them and this is my another attempt to use distress oxides. I like the effect even though it looks a little bit uneven, some of the stuff, but because it has watercolor effect, it looks very pretty. It's completely different in total. If you want, you can add some sparkle. If you like the glitter, I would probably add some of the dots in the middle. I can't find my glitter sparkle, but this is how it looks like. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Zoom in.